Hey there everybody, thank you for joining me for another one man review. Today I've got a brand new hardcover collection of Jonathan Hickman and Mike Huddleston's Decorum from Image Comics. Uh, it's, a, it's a really beautiful book. I'd seen some of the art and I knew I had to get it just based on what Huddleston does in the book. He's got a real wide variety of styles in here. I've, I've always liked Jonathan Hickman's work going back to his first book, Nightly News. Uh, I really like when he, he does his own art. I haven't seen him do that in a long time, but I really like the way he integrated design into his artwork. As he's moved forward, it's become a little bit of a gimmick, I think. He's also known for his really like complicated, pre-planned out scripts. Um, you know, where everything's like a crazy, you know, like kind of like his designs where it's all pre-planned ahead of time um, with these in intricate, interconnected kind of political maneuvers and stuff. So I tend to wait on his work until I can read it all at once. I've tried reading it issue by issue and I it just don't connect the dots that he's trying to connect. So I find his work difficult in some aspects, but I really enjoyed this one. And reading it all the way through, like the things that seem like I know I would have trouble connecting if I was reading them one at a time, um, make more sense. So I, I really like that. One thing Hickman does that I don't like so much is he he has so much world building that he like feels obligated to get to that he tends to put it into his graphics or he tends to do, like in this book, it's like right out the gate you have text exposition, like the Star Wars thing, you know, sliding up the screen explaining everything. I've never been a huge fan of that style. I'd rather just show up in the story. I feel like he used to do a better job of integrating the, the design aspects into the story, but as he's moved into being a writer, he's he's got his graphic design style that applies to everything he does, like... The same here as it is in the X-Men, you know. Um, and then it always sits next to the artist. It's never integrated in. And I think it worked better when it was his his work and it was integrated in. So that was always kind of a problem for me with Hickman's work. But the story overall is really cool. And the art by Huddleston is just amazing. I mean, it's all over the place stylistically. <laughs> like on this first page, you have like... This beautiful painted image that looks like a combination of physical materials and digital painting. I mean, you have like an Ashley Wood type of graphic. And then you almost have like um, a George Pratt, Pratt like pen and ink drawing going on there. And those things continue to like intermingle. It's really hard to tell why he chooses to go with which style at any given moment. Um... It seems to be intuitive design decisions, but it always looks great and it makes the page flow and it's, it's just a real treat to look at. And that, that continues throughout the book. I mean, everything's very different. Um, like every scene is almost a different vibe. Here's some more of Hickman's graphics. You know, this is really standard of him. I like it. I like the integration of comics. It just feels expected from him now. And it's always this this same design thing going on. And I feel like given all of the variety going on in the artwork, I don't know, I almost expect more variety in the design. Um, so it doesn't look like a Hickman book. Maybe it looks like a Huddleston book. The, the story of the book is there's like society has split. Uh, there's an AI that's grown and taken over everything. And so there's humans versus AI. You meet this character, Niha, who's kind of a courier for mob type of things. And she gets she gets sucked further and further into kind of this battle. At the same time, there's a second storyline running where you have these celestial mothers trying to grow the an egg of the creator. And the AI are out to get the egg. So what's happened is... And it takes a while to figure this out in the story, but I don't think it's really spoilers. The egg is um, the basically, as far as I can tell, the reincarnation of the creator of the AI. So the AI have like a mainframe god, and this egg is trying to regrow, rebirth the creator who will be the savior who comes and saves humanity from the AI. That's, that's the thrust of 
that part of the story. But again, you can see some of Huddleston's just beautiful art, like these awesome swirly psychedelic colors, these 3D graphics, some like Jackson Pollock painting going on in there, these very stark abstract designs, uh, more of that Jackson Pollock painting stuff. And then you flip into these like totally abstract like black and white pages, which is the AI. And then when you meet the AI God, it's like this Jack Kirby crackle thing. Uh, it's all in like colored half tones, so it looks like old comic book stuff. There's been aging done to the pages. Just a lot of real technical wizardry in the production. Um, but then you come back to like Hickman, you know, and it's, oh, well, there's Hickman doing Hickman. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, Here's some more Huddleston doing kind of like a Bill Sienkiewicz from Big Numbers type of vibe, black and white. Um, but here's a real good example of where I have the problem with, with what Hickman's doing. Like here you have this old school kind of black and white sepia toned vibe. The characters are speaking to each other like in very proper British terms and having tea. And this character, Mr. Morley, this is Miss Morley. Uh, Mr. Morley goes into Mr. Morley's dreams. And it's the dreams of Master Morley. And it just looks like everything else in the book. It seems to me like this could be designed to look like his journal or something. I feel that, like, you know, Hickman is kind of known for being a graphic designer. But he's got so far down into his one style that he's not adaptable. Uh, as a graphic designer could be. And I, I feel like this type of inclusion of text and graphics into a story works better when it feels part of the story. And when the story is kind of always switching styles, uh, maybe the design could could switch styles a little bit. Um, so really, that's, that's my only complaint with the book. Um, here's some more Huddleston, like doing some Sergio Topi vibes, just flipping through some pages that impressed me. Here he's doing kind of like a John Paul Leon, uh, you know, stark black and white with these muted colors. Um, here you get some some more variation. Some of it looks like uh, Fiona Staples on Saga. Some of it looks like Liam Sharp's type of digital graphics. Some of it looks like Ashley Woods. Some of it looks like it's just all over the place. Uh, anyway, story-wise, Neha has been picked up by Miss Miss Morley and taken to this school for assassins. So they're going to train her to be an assassin. And eventually, the women of that... It's all women's school. Here you go, like kind of a Dave McKean with some Ashley Wood, with some, you know, all kinds of different stuff thrown in there. Um, these The school of female assassins are going to get hired and they're going to have to go find this this new reincarnation of this god egg uh they get hired by the ai to try and stop the creator i mean here's another beautiful page with like god knows how many different techniques he's using in here it looks like 3d modeling maybe some actual physical paint a lot of digital drawings like i i don't even know when i'm looking at any given image like what how much of it's painted how much it's drawn and scanned in how much it's done digitally but it all integrates so well, it doesn't matter. Uh, and it's just always cool imagery. Like the abstract designs, just amazing stuff there. Um, printed really well, nice glossy paper. The colors are really bright. Everything's really beautiful. My only production complaint, and again, it's just me being like a super crazy eagle eye, is a lot of the line work does look like it. it's printed in the half tone with the colors. It doesn't look like the blacks were separated out and printed on top of the colors. So in the black and white sequences, that's a little bit bothersome to my like super Hawkeye, but in the color sequence, it doesn't matter. And with these amazing color visuals and knowing that I'm just, you know, super, super picky about that, it's just something to totally write off. I mean, I could just flip to any page and it's it's like different styles. It, it's such a beautiful book. And the story's interesting. Um, I think Hickman always like hides... A, he's good at hiding a simple premise, you know, like the rebirth of the creator of the AI or like a human versus AI. 
narrative. It's not that original. He's really good at hiding it in all of the interconnectedness. And I think that's actually to his strength. It definitely makes it so that I need to w read his work all in one go. Um, but I think that does make the stories more compelling and more interesting, even though he's, he's kind of playing around with a standard narrative. There's a lot of cool, like fun little sequences in here too, that make good use of like rhythm and repetition in the story. Um, so a really beautiful book, really well produced, nice hardcover, really nice binding, really kind of lay flat stitch binding, beautiful printing. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. Really, really recommend this book. Um, once you've got that book, if you got some extra money and you want to see another really real beautiful produce, this will give you a size comparison. It's a pretty big book. Here's a normal comic size. So big books. Um, if you got this and you want to see someone who can really do line work well and you haven't got Strange Death of Alex Raymond yet, make sure you go pick up uh, Strange Death of Alex Raymond for a real black and white treat. And then if you like the kind of bombastic art in here, keep an eye out for uh, Plaza by Yuichi Yokoyama that Sean has coming out soon through Living the Line. Thanks for following along. Take it away, Jack. What's the audience books? Smash that subscribe button and the like button and the bell and then you get them.